Bondi, 1988. But I'm a happy man. When the mullets were long and the bodies were short. It's been 22 years since Bondi hosted an international surfing competition. It was also the time when Kerbox, former pro surfer Rod Kerr, was at his peak. As was his hair. But now, the glory days are back. Australia's most famous beach is about to play host to the world's hottest surfers. It's amazing to have a contest back in Bondi, I love it. I'm excited, eh? This is going to be insane. The last contest that was here, I think Box was surfing in it. I did, I surfed in the OP Pro back in... I don't know 80s, 80s. <laughs> I'm sure it was 80s, not 70s, but anyway. <laughs> Star turn is nine-time world champion Kelly Slater. I don't think I've actually ever even surfed at Bondi, to be honest with you, let alone compete. It should be great to get out there and just let loose and good for the spectators because, you know, every wave someone's going to be going for something crazy. Been on a busy day, we can get up 40, 50,000 people just uh, coming down the beach to enjoy Bondi Beach. So throw in all these guys and you'll probably get another 50 on top of that. It's going to be great to surf Bondi without the crowd. I've surfed here a couple times before. I didn't get many waves. So there's a lot of sitting there and watching about a thousand guys paddle around you. Looking forward to getting out there with Rod Kerr and uh, dueling with him. <laughs> Slater and Kerbox are mates and were once competitors on the Pro Tour. <laughs> a day before the competition starts, the world's hottest surfers give a taste of what they can do. But until the world's best begin competing, Bondi showcases some of the worst. Oh. Oh. Then, the inevitable. This guy's got a head gash. Gash over his head, bro. 39-year-old Tal, a Bondi local collided with another surface board. A couple of waves came through, someone jumped on a wave, and just as, it came, as he turned around, the wave kind of closed out, and the guy was kind of coming straight out. Nowhere to go, really. More disturbing than the blood are other symptoms. I can't see properly out of his eye, either. You can't? He's going to get the oxy on him. He's pretty busy. He's got a pretty decent head gash. Pressure on the wound right. contains blood loss. He is bleeding, but they're containing the bleeding, so uh, an ambulance has that clean. Yeah, copy, H. Thanks, mate. Up we go. Pull that out, H. Yeah. I'll open the back of it. I'll uh, tell your wife I'll take your board, OK? Sure, thanks. Sure. She's going to kill me, mate. Oxygen helps minimise shock as a pressure bandage stops the bleeding. An intensive care paramedic arrives within minutes. Just open your eyes nice and wide for me. Tal's pupils are tested to see if he's suffered any neurological damage. The problem with head injuries is because they're a big impact, they don't always affect you straight away. OK, so you may... Worst case scenario, you may be bleeding inside your brain. Obviously, in your head, there's only so much space you can bleed into, so if you bleed, it pushes your brain. That's After an urgent phone call, Tal's wife makes it to the tower. I promise I'm fine, I'm fine, I promise. But better now. I got a, a shock when I walked in. It's definitely one of the worst head cuts I've seen. It's a very good argument now for maybe wearing her, because this is the kind of thing we can do. All of us guys are surfers, and we see the accidents and just shake our head. Surfer etiquette's the most important thing, because if you don't have any guidelines or rules to abide by, well, then it's, everything's out the window. People will end up getting killed. Head injuries are dangerous enough on land. In the water, they can be even more lethal. This guy could have a fractured skull. He could have been killed instantly. And uh, Boxy and I often look at each other and go, mate, when, when's the, uh, ne the, the, the first death from a, a surfboard hit? Tests will soon reveal the extent of Tal's injury. But some injuries occur well away from the water. Coming in a hand and he's doing this. Shot on the beach? Yes, on the beach and then. Oh, just come in with us, please. At 6th ramp, we may have a first aid. Can you just sort of head to that area? 
just got a lady from the public. We thought she saw a lady bleeding quite badly. Oh, here we go, here we go. Take that line close down, sir. Yeah. Yeah. My name's Ben and this is Tom. Okay. Yeah, you sure? A woman is bleeding from the wrist at the back of the beach. Just show me your wrist. Do you want to get some gauze out? How did that happen? Oh, don't worry. No. Don't worry, we've got to worry. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're don't fine, your arms look a little bit cut. Yeah. Yeah. How did this happen? Yeah. How did you cut yourself? I'm just waiting for him. Have you been drinking today at all? No, no, no. Definitely ring the police. She needs to go off to a better place, I think. If we can distract her enough to get her to stop, then and that's all we can really do until the police come and, and hopefully they'll know what we do. You're not bleeding anywhere else? Are you cut anywhere no, else? No, no, no. You sure? No. You're not having any difficulty breathing? I went through a gear and found a pretty big knife. I'm just going to put that there for a minute. Lifeguards have another problem. Do you know where that razor went? The top of the I razor? Don't know. I don't know. We saw it here before. Fine, thanks. What's going on? I'm just waiting for my boyfriend. What'd you cut yourself? Just in case he doesn't come with my for, for me. Okay. Do you have anything else on your shirt? No, 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 nothing. Okay, no. well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to search you to make sure you don't have anything. Okay. okay. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take you up and sit on the seats, okay? Because okay. the ambulance is gonna come yeah. up. The ambulance. Come see you. Do you need our assistance at all? No, no, we'll, we'll come we'll some details. We'll come so so not a problem. While police help the woman, lifeguards search for a razor blade they believe she used to harm herself. Well, that's what I found. And there's, there's absolutely there's no razor actually in it. There's so much traffic along the back of Bondi. Oh, you get hundreds of runners every day, and I could imagine what a, a razor blade would, would do to someone running in the sand. When you get a patient in that sort of state of mind, the police are the ones that have to force them to go to hospital. So they, they took her away and they'll assess her up at the hospital and just make sure she's cared for the right way. So hopefully she's OK. Then the search is over. Boys, I just found that blade in the sand. I was just looking and I got it. It's good news for us. We don't have to worry about pushing his hats out or worrying about anyone else uh, getting hurt. It's more than two decades since Bondi hosted a pro surfing contest. Today, Bondi is back. It's going to be awesome, you know, you've got some of the best surfers in the world down here. The big crowd building down there. Former pro surfer Kerbox has a chance to relive his glory days in the celebrity event. This is my gang, this is what I'm about and I can't wait. Lifeguards are in charge of safety, both in and out of the water. We're going to have things going on in the water. We'll have, I'm sure we'll have issues up on the beach with so many people. Look at the crowd, it is swelled with good reason. Uh... Wildcard entries have been left open for the hottest local surfing talent. Whippet has earned the shot at the big guns. Kerbox was my surf coach when I was 12, so it's pretty cool to be working with them now and we still surf most days together. Really nervous, look at it. So the Bondi lifeguards following with their homegrown boy. There are six surfers in each heat. The best two progress to the next round. Come on, Whip. Do it! Yeah! A 360 gets Whippet off to a good start, putting him in first place. <laughs> Whippet's rivals respond, but he keeps the lead. The red surfer punts a big aerial, putting him in front. But if Whippet can hang on to second place, he'll still make the next round. Five seconds remaining, and Whippet's almost certainly through until the white surfer sneaks one in. Such a cruel sport, surfing. Whipper just got beat in the last five seconds, which is uh, disappointing. <laughs> Did he get through? Nah, so he ended up third. <laughs> <laughs> five seconds to go, the guy's snagged one. Get him to come up if he needs a shoulder. <laughs> you did it, win it. Mm. Oh. I was already celebrating for it. <laughs> the crowd builds for the highly anticipated celebrity team event. Kelly Slater. Um, we think it's hot. Owen <laughs> Wright, Fanning, Taj Burrow. Yeah, came to watch those boys. K 
current world champion Mick Fanny is teamed up with lifeguard Azza Graham and Bondi vet Chris Brown. Nine-time world champion Kelly Slater is teamed up with his old buddy Kerbox. I'm terrified. <laughs> It's been years since Kerbox competed in a surfing contest. Actually, the funny part is I actually surfed in the last one about four years ago. <laughs> but Kerbox's return to competition is about to hit a hurdle. Someone just soaked my board up. <laughs> you got to believe it. Feel it. Oh, I promise you, I swear it wasn't me. Someone has spread detergent all over his board. It's going to be like standing on, desert, on a banana peel. <laughs> I'll just go. I'm gonna do it. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill someone. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Oh, I, I can never do it to anybody. It wasn't me. Oh, Kerbox must completely rewax his board, but his heat begins in 10 minutes. <laughs> I may as well not even go surfing. I can't. I can't use the board. Well, seriously, I can't surf. The contest is about to begin, and Kerbox is nowhere to be seen. I don't need him up here. Word spreads to his competitors. You couldn't have to do a better boat. <laughs> Sweating. I'm going to find out who did it. I'm going to kill him. Back to the sweet times, the hot nights. Everything is going to be hard. Bondi's celebrity surfing event is minutes away, but Kerbox is the victim of foul play. Someone has sabotaged his board with detergent. Are you good? Mate, I just can't let my board. No, it wasn't me. No. Look at you sweating, eh? Hey! Look at you. Oh, that's too much. Oh, I had nothing to do with it, eh? I'm not that smart. It's about to lose a very late Rod Kerbox, guys. Watch out, Kelly Slater. It's been 15 years since the former world number six competed in a surfing competition. Now, at 43, Kerbox is back in the spotlight. He's that nervous. I've never seen him that nervous before. I'm rattled, mate. I'm heavily rattled. There's only a million people watching on the web and TV. So it's a team's event. There's four surfers per team. Everyone gets three waves. So your best two waves count. Hi, sir. How you doing? Hold our team up. Yeah. What? Yeah. So, it's actually going to hold oh, our man, team up. I haven't float. surfed in a week. <laughs> also hoping to deliver a few knockout moves, world boxing champion Danny Green. Wax is obviously very important to a professional surfer like myself. Make sure I don't fall off, but I don't think it's going to help me, mate. I'm going down. Hopefully they're going to go out there and put on a show and not drown either. <laughs> Lucky we've got the, uh, the Bondi lifeguards on hand. Kelly Slater, he'll be down there, and Box Kerr. He's got a few nerves, folks, so try and settle uh, the Box Kerr down, get him out representing the Bondi lifeguards, of course. No pressure, Box. Just... You can see just a massive crowd congregated down there. Guys, right back, please. He's nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Shake it. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Home town advantage, mate. Right. You should be all right. <laughs> 50,000 people on the beach when someone soaks up his board in front of his biggest moment in 20 years. Please do it. That's heavy, man. That's unreal. I love it. Kerbox waits for his session as all eyes are on Kelly Slater and Mick Fanning. Here we go, Mick Fanning looking to get his team off to a great start. Nice little hit, moving through to the inside. Boom. Here we go, Greeny. Wow. Nice hack. He's still going. Throws the combos up into that last turn. After Slater slashes, Kerbox needs to keep the red team in front. Rock and roll, Rodney Kerr. It doesn't take long for the old pro to show he hasn't lost it. Now Kerbox is pitted against fellow lifeguard Azza, surfing for Mick Fanning's yellow team. Here goes Azza. Azza. Uh... Super tricky. 
Why has he got no walls on it? You can't tell what they're going to do. I didn't fall. That's the main thing. Yeah. And it's kind of really. Yeah. I've got me saw that worked out. After my first wave, I just went... Then I'll sweep. What happened? Did you get a good one? What a great celebrity. <laughs> the winner, the red team. Congratulations, guys. And uh, we're right here over here. The big boy hadn't served kind of since 94, so he just got the winning win for us. I've got it all. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to rattle him. Kerbox, you're a legend, Mike. For Kerbox, the glory days are back. I reckon we should just put the Illuma zinc back on his face, and he'll think he's back on the tour in the 80s. And... He served like absolute crap, but he, he had a couple of good waves and won the thing for us, so it's pretty good. But he was shaky. He hadn't, I don't think he served the Connors in a few years. So, yeah, he was a bit nervous. He came out of the water, he was like, this kind of thing. I thought it was going to have to get him rescued. But the major sporting event doesn't distract from the main game on Bondi. Just along the beach, a girl is being dragged out to sea in a rip. The first girl got in, the other one's thrown them over, but she's struggling a bit. I don't like the chances. Yeah, get out there, Baker. I reckon she's starting to panic a bit. Baker heads out in the heavy swell. She's pretty happy to see him. <laughs> Ali is from Sydney's northern beaches. I came to Bondi Beach because I wanted to go um, see Kelly Slater surf in the um, Boost um, surf competition. I got in a bit of trouble, so I met him. <laughs> Not quite as good as Kelly Slater. No, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the Sunday crowd builds to watch the final air competition. Thank you. With thousands on the beach, lifeguards multitask as they attend a string of first aids. An event organiser has dislocated her knee. And while lifeguards rescue more swimmers, a 10-year-old girl has collapsed. It's just gone mental. Then, in the tower, another report. Yeah, we just had a report of a seizure down by the entrance of the car park. Yatesy and Troy are responding to that. Um, you may need to back them up. Um, I'll keep you posted. Yeah, I'll need a uh, medic kit ASAP. And yeah, we'll need an AMBO. Call an AMBO now. You know what else today? Been drinking much water, eh? Dude, we haven't always been drinking much today. No, no, good no, no. <laughs> Until paramedics arrive, lifeguards administer oxygen. He suffers from seizures at all? He's had one before about a year and a half ago. They put it down or anything? They got those in there? Yeah. Low blood sugar. Annual blood sugar. Okay. Just let me know if anything deteriorates or if there's any change. Take it A lot to do with probably dehydration. He's had a massive day yesterday as well, so. You know, he's come down, hot day today. It's a, a sign to everyone to keep uh, the fluids up all day. But all eyes are on the beach as the last event is about to begin. An aerial competition with a $25,000 prize. Thousands wait to watch the world's best surfers pull off the most outrageous moves they can. Whip it! Bondi's lifeguards have been assigned to do the tow-ins to get maximum launch speed. There's heaps of pressure on us. It's, uh... You know, you're telling the best surfers in the world, they've got really high expectations.
Oh, for sure, this place is nuts. To see the crowd down here and just to be out there with all the boys and just go big. And I'm so, so stoked that I pulled off one in the start there. It's actually for Beardy. He wants it in the tower, but he's too embarrassed to ask. So whip it. Unreal. It may have been the best display of surfing Bondi has ever seen. It's great to be back at Bondi. They're looking in from the beach. The crowd is amazing. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool to be a part of. Yeah, this has been an amazing day. Great for Bondi, great for surfing. Uh, we've had a ball, haven't we? Yeah, it's been, been a good day. Been pretty busy. Been and, really um, busy. But it's I mean, been fun. looking at the crowd, Bondi needs a surfing event, and we got a good one. And Kerbox has proved he's still got it. More importantly, he's uncovered the culprit who sabotaged his board. Former pro surfing mate, Bo Emerton. I blame everybody, and I couldn't think of it. I blamed Maxi. I blamed him. I blamed, I blamed the bloody camera crew, and then they went, Bo. And I just ran up my hotel, had a little sleep, and I'm just thinking that he's going to slip over here. <laughs> mate, I've done day I've ever been so rattled in my whole life. It just threw everything out. Couldn't believe it, mate. I was just about to spew in the water. I was that nervous. The old fashioned uh, soap on the board trick, mate. It never fails. It never fails. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Bondi Rescue. Hello! <laughs> the world's best skaters get airborne. But the show goes terribly wrong. Hey!